fact, let's uh, introduce our next guest on the show, Trudeep Bhattacharya, Chief Investment Officer, Equities at Edelweiss Asset Management is with us. Uh, Trudeep, thank you so much for joining in. And uh, it's a happy situation uh, for, for the markets, right, as we're getting into this midweek holiday. You know, I've been thinking, usually when indices hit all-time highs, one constant complaint we get from fund managers is that, you know, there's a lot of money chasing too few stocks and it's tougher and tougher. It's getting tougher and tougher to find, find, now stocks, uh, find stocks now in the market. That narrative is absolutely absent this time around. You guys are not complaining. Why is that? And uh, what's the sense from here on, especially on mid-caps? Um, the short answer is maybe we got our stock selection right this time. So I think uh, <laughs> when we get that, when we get that, we, uh, others uh, other stocks are going up. But as long as ours go up slightly more than others, we are a happy bunch. Uh, so so far so good. But I think look, uh, it's it's good to see markets at all time high. But in a sense, last two or three months, we have seen basically uh, easing off of macro worries and uh, uh, more more global factors than otherwise. I mean, a better sense of rate speaking. Uh, 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 and also the fact that you know inflation is gradually coming off um, has led to a slightly better macro conditions. And what has worked out in India's favor maybe over the last couple of months is that the China growth, which was expected to be red hot, uh, is probably not so uh, uh, is perceived to be not as much as we stand now. Uh, so some of the flows from uh, overseas has kind of you know is attuned to that. But I think the recent round of bullishness, I would attribute, and these are all short-term guesses, uh, uh, my guess is as good as anyone, uh, is that I think one of the worries that we've had is a weak monsoon, El Nino, this, that, the other. I think the spread of the monsoon over the last week or so um, has been probably slightly better than anticipated. Now, too early to sort of call times, but uh, uh, one of the few worries from a bottom-up India story has been a weaker monsoon. A little bit of let up that is probably kind of being celebrated in the markets as we speak. Mm. Uh, although we have seen a fair amount of uh, you know monsoon in the last rains in the last one week, BMC has announced that they will be imposing a 10% water cut across Mumbai from the 1st of July because the water in the lakes currently is quite inadequate. Uh, so it's been a late start, but it's still not yet you know good enough because we will have to see those water cuts of 10% from 1st of July. Tridip, um, so you know back to the market. Are you comfortable investing at these levels, or would you just like to wait for a you know, some lower levels. And if you are comfortable buying, you know, what are the pockets of uh, interest? So as a fund manager, I can only invest at current levels. Uh, 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 but I would say... But you can like hold this. on to cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, I was going to say that over the last uh, uh, two or three months, as I was saying, the macro, the loosening macro has taken most of the stocks up. Uh, and it's been a broad-based rally, which is what I think Sulvi was mentioning, that none of the fund managers are complaining. But I think as we hit the result season, um, I think the, the pockets which would seem uh, relative earnings resilience would be the ones which would uh, 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 which would probably still kind of, you know, hold on to their gains. And there might be others who might probably either underperform or go down or whichever uh, shape or form it takes. So the idea from here on is that as we head to, uh, as we head into the result season, it might get a little more selective. It may get a little more oriented towards wherever the earnings are coming. Um, and that's where our focus is really from a near term standpoint. Uh, that uh, we, are, we, are, we are looking to focus on the pockets of earnings resilience. And as you said, the pockets of earnings resilience uh, uh, are most likely not going to be IT services, uh, uh, but most likely would ride in the manufacturing side of the economy. Um, and uh, uh, while valuations are on the higher side, uh, net of valuations, wherever we see earnings resilience, that's where we are sort of uh, uh, you know focusing our attention on. Um, on the other hand, uh, select consumption uh, stocks where stocks have probably hit the bottom or maybe sequentially things might be a little better if the monsoon situation improves are the other areas that we are incrementally looking at. But these are very subtle, small changes that we are looking to make. As you, as you would probably understand, the portfolio construction is usually done from a medium term standpoint. We only change so much in a very from a near term standpoint. But to the extent that we do, these are the areas that we are focusing on. Okay, so um, do you think uh, market expectations of a margin expansion in the upcoming quarter could be a little more optimistic than might play out? What, if, what is your feedback thrown out? Because if that doesn't play out, then there could be some earnings disappointment and markets could come under a bit of pressure. 
Can you give us some channel checks based on your conversation with corporates? Yeah, I think that's a good spot. I think uh, that's the focus of the research. And I think clearly commodity prices have been coming off. Uh, and when I said earnings resilience, uh, uh, I didn't get specific, but that's one of the areas that we are uh, uh, hooked on as to the areas that we would see a uh, 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 margin uptake come through. Um, my suspicion is that on net balance, a better part of uh, margin recovery might be in the next quarter, not in this quarter. So uh, uh, to answer your question, this quarter numbers uh, in the form of margin, margin upgrades could be a little bit lower than anticipated, but overall the guidance or the, for the next quarter from a margin recovery standpoint might be a little more optimistic. So net-net, it might be more balanced from that standpoint. Um, Sudeep, uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, good speaking with you here on CNBC TV 18. Well, uh, you know, I think uh, Mitesh,